my channel everyone. This is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Today we are unboxing my November, or is this October's? No, this is November's um, subscription from Easy Whims uh, Diamond Painting Club. And uh, hopefully this will be better because this will be my last order since it came early enough. I mean, they are getting quicker at sending them out. Um, but I have not been interested in any of the diamond paintings that they've sent. So I don't want to keep wasting my money. So I am going to see what is entailed in this one. My categories should have changed to dragons and fairies. I think it is. And the second choice would be abstract. And I'm really hoping they send something that is my taste because I really don't want to keep wasting money. I've basically been um, enjoying these for the extra stuff that they send as long as it's diamond painting because most of the stuff that they've sent that was not diamond painting related, I just probably would never do. And again, that's wasting a waste of money. So. I would rather buy something that I know I would do than keep getting stuff that I'm not sure if I will or not. All right. As always, it is packed with very nicely with these styrofoam corners on, on all the corners. I mean, not only the corners, all the way down. I don't have my scissors, so I'm using a very dull exacto knife knockoff. Okay, hopefully it'll come off now. There we go. Okay. Oh, the box is looks a little different. It's white this time. It's the Christmas edition. So hopefully we get something cool. Just trying to find where I should open it. Um, let's do this side. They, that is one thing I, I can say about these monthly boxes is they come very well wrapped, very protected. And since they've had a few months to get things figured out, they're actually starting to send them and I'm getting them before the end of the month so I can choose whether I want to keep paying for it. All right, let's see if I can slide it out. I've kept every one of the boxes so far. I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do with them now. All right, here we go. Beautiful box. What's in the box? Okay. I'm not going to read the letter because it tells you what is in there. Here's the drills for the diamond paintings. And they are round. And let's start. Well, let's get the toolkits out for the diamond paintings as well. Okay. And the schematics. All right. So this is the first item in here. It says Christmas Essentials, Easy Whim. It looks like they're Christmas cards. Okay, we've got some ornaments. Wow. Okay, let me take them out of the package. Because the glare is blinding. Okay, they look like they're just basic, really basic little ornaments, but they come with these cords for hanging from your tree, which will be really cool. I will actually put those on my tree. There's quite a bit of them. Okay, we've got an angel, a gingerbread man, a heart, 
a bell, and they're one-sided, a snowflake, an ornament, another snowflake, a different one, a gingerbread house, it looks like, a Christmas tree, and a star. So there's two, five, ten of them. You get ten, and they only have the three colors, well, the three types. They get an AB white, and then a red, and then this teardrop shape. So very easy to figure out where everything goes. They are very thin. I mean, they're on like a uh, card stock, like you would get for an index card. That's about how thin they are. And this is, this would be my only concern right here is how thin this is. Um, when holding it, putting this through it and how well it will stay held up throughout the years. So that would be my only concern, but this is super cute. I love that idea. All right. And there's the three colors that go with that. And it came, did it come with, yeah, it came with this little kit here, a little bit of bags, wax tray and a drill pin. And it also came with two Christmas cards. So we've got one that says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And then one with Santa. And it looks like you get to actually put special shapes on the tree itself. Here, I didn't show you up close. Let me show you one of these. Let me show you the house because that's got some of everything. So there's the ornament. Three different colors. Well, I mean the... Um, house and then here's the ornament so it appears like each one of them has each, all three of the different colors all right so far so for this all right it comes with an envelope and you get to do an elf, a snowman, Santa, and a reindeer. And it actually has words inside and a cute little animated Santa Claus with a helicopter going towards a cabin. That's cute. Merry Christmas. Much joy to you in the upcoming year. May the warmest wishes, happy thoughts, and friendly greetings come at Christmas and stay with you all the year through. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So that's a cute little card. And here's the shapes. They've got just regular round drills. And then they've got a star shape right there. There we go. Yeah, some of them don't look like they made the shape very well. They've got a lot of excess plastic on them. So I might be having to use some clippers. To trim them this uh, there's no way to figure out which which kit goes with the cards so you're gonna want to make sure to keep with keep the drills with that kit it does say HK 62 on here but nothing on the card says HK 62 so make sure you keep them together and I'm going to do that right now so I don't misplace or mismatch the kits to the drills. The card with the drills, I should say. All right. Put those in there. And then here we have the Santa. Let's see what it says inside. All right, this one has just red, brown, white, and there's some gold stars. And then red for the ornaments, and then orange and red. Two different type of color reds, and then the gold stars. Oh, and then there's like some slivers right there. Some gold slivers. And this one 
says Happy New Year, Merry Christmas. A little backwards, but... And it says the same thing on the back. But wow, look at that excess. So, you know, I'd love to do these up, but Ayla will probably end up having to do them for me because she's really enjoying um, the diamond painting now. Um, I've got all three of my kids love diamond painting now. That's just awesome. So these don't take long at all. I mean, these are a little smaller. The ones I got from Diamond Art Club um, take me a little bit of time, but they have a lot to drill on them. This, this has quite a bit to drill on them too. So this will probably take a good amount of time. I just don't have hours to sit and do one. Or I, I could sit and do one completely, but I normally only work on them while I'm editing my videos. And so that doesn't take a lot of time out of the day. Enough time to diamond paint a full diamond painting. Okay, so let's move on to the next goodie in the box. Let's see. Okay, there's quite a bit this time. So this is diamond painting. DIY. It looks like they are stickers. Let's see. Yeah. And they're Christmas stickers. That's cool. Wow. And look at that. They gave me some really light pink wax. I'm going to keep that and try it out. So what stickers do we have here? Wow, look at all those. I'm going to actually keep them out of the box so that I can get them to flatten because they rolled them inside the box to make it fit. So it comes on one large sheet and then you cut the stickers out afterwards. Or you can cut them out before and do it one at a time. But... Yeah, this this helps to keep it get it flattened. This Christmas tree is a really big one. Um, this looks like something you could put on a like poster board and make a little you know Christmas. This would be good for one of those big Christmas cards from an office or to give to somebody to you know put these stickers all around it to help decorate it. I think that would make this cool. I don't know what else I would put Christmas stickers on. You know, I'm not really one for a lot of DIY card making. I would, so this would be kind of perfect for that. You just stick one sticker on the outside or whatever and put Merry Christmas. And that would be about what I, what my um, extensive knowledge would be for making cards. Let's look at the drills. There's a lot. Oh my gosh. So we've got some silver stars. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. Okay. We've got these silver stars. And we've got this gold round gem. These go on the ends of the hats. Uh, Santa's hat. Everybody's hat. Every That's, yeah. So everyone has a Z at the end of their hat, except for the reindeer. But it also is one of the ornaments on the tree. Okay, got those. And then we've got these big round red ones with pieces of extra plastic. I'll have to fix because they go here. A big L, one, two, three, four. So hopefully that's all there are. Yeah, and because they gave me six. So I might not have to clip them. I could just use the ones that aren't messed up, but that's what those are for. And then X is the other red ball. So one, two, three, four. And then there's three here on the mistletoe. So there's plenty of them for that. And then the regular colors, well, the regular non-special shaped, uh, we've got some rhinestones and 
this doesn't have a number on it either. SS019. Yeah, okay, it's on the box. This number right here is on the box. And we've got some red, silver, white, and oh, wow, I've not seen that color before. Look at that rhinestone color. It's like a peach. Look how pretty that is. Okay, it's not going to want to focus. There we go. And then we've got like a topaz or a coffee color. And then we have a gold and we have black and another orangish color. And here's, this one's more of a pink. And then we've got a purple and another coffee-ish color and then green and then another green and a blue. So there are a lot of colors for these stickers. I just wish Tesla would, would like to diamond paint more than she does because I would really have fun doing this with her. Maybe I can get her to sit down with me and do it. I can't wait for Christmas break. Thanksgiving break, they actually get a five-day weekend. So maybe we can sit down and do some Christmas cards up at that time. All right, I'm going to put this away, and I'll be right back to show you the next item. Okay, I just pulled this out. Not sure what it is. Okay. But glue on this is tough. And this knife is so not very sharp. <laughs> Alright. Pretty good. Oh, it's a bookmark. I should have known by the shape. And it's different than the one I have, thank goodness. I do did find that I like doing these and um, the one I bought off of AliExpress is completely dry. I used watered down Mod Podge and this is how it turned out. Still trying to figure out if you can see the sparkle um, with the Mod Podge on it because you don't want to use aqua glue on these. But yeah, I can see the sparkle pretty good still. So that's what I used to seal uh this bookmark is the Mod Podge watered down. Just so you know, here is my leftover. I sealed the top so it couldn't be used and it's still liquidy, um, but I used two parts Mod Podge, one part water, just in case you are interested in sealing your bookmark because it, they will, the drills will move around afterwards if you don't seal it. Okay, so the kit comes with a plastic pair of tweezers, tray, drill pin, and wax. And it comes with a tassel, as you can see. This is the same tassel that's on here, same color and everything. They're like bur a burgundy, almost brown color. And it's got this little lotus flower, it looks like. It's the same exact one that's in here. And this is basically a mandala mandala it looks like and it has the same exact drills that go around the outside as this does so this is basically the same uh, you know they probably got them from the same place I don't know but um, they the symbol that goes the around the stone or whatever you want to call it is this half circled gold bead and you can see it right here. It's that one right there. And we'll look at the drills, but it's a lot of rhinestones. And again, they are actually numbered on the baggies, so you want to keep them with this so you know that that's what it goes with, because there's nothing here to indicate that this bookmark is SQ003. Um, so we've got K. They give us two. I'll go back, zoom back in so you can see. There you go. So there are two of these and it only requires one. So they do give extra. This one has been bent. 
I'm not sure how that happens, but uh, it looks like it's bent permanently. It's got a wrinkle in it. Or it just, yeah, that's what it is. It's a wrinkle from when they placed it. But these are, you can bend these. These are made out of a material that you can get them to the shape you want. Okay, so there's K. And then, of course, S that goes all the way around. O. Got it all the way around this here. And then there's this pretty green teardrop. H. So that's the ones that go here and here. And then E. It's a pretty AB coated or AB. Oh, I don't know what you want to call it. But there we go. That's a lot better. That's E. And B is this red. I had real, I had a lot of fun um, doing this other bookmark. So I'm glad I chose that one because I had no idea they were going to be sending this. But there's a lot of different shapes. There's the, all the special shapes. And here's the rhinestones. We got purple. And then a pinkish purple. Magenta, here we go, that's the color. And then we got the black, and we have a green, and an orange. So, good job picking this, having this as one of the items in the box. I approve. Put this away, and then there's actually still two more things other than the diamond paintings to show. Um, probably keep the bag for that. Yep. Put that in there. All right. And next we have, all right. Oh, it's a pouch. I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> Okay, so this is only drilled right here in the center. And there you can look, take a look at that. So there's not a lot to do on this one. Again, I would use Mod Podge because it's not something that's going to be stay stiff and flat. It's going to be moved around and opened and, you know, you know, the material in here isn't, you know, highest quality, but it is what it is. And... It's got a bit of room. It's a good makeup case, carrying case, overnight, weekend trip, whatever. Or just a purse to carry around. I'm not sure I would carry around this particular image. It's kind of wild. But it is pretty. Might may, It might make a nice gift for somebody. Here's the toolkit. Same as the other. And the cool thing is it came in this reusable um, zipper bag. I've, I'm seeing these more and more, and I really like when they come in these because they can be reused even after you're done with your project. So here are the drills. Let's open them up. All right, so there are a lot of really pretty ones in here. Okay, so we've got this silver sliver. Um, got a bigger teardrop sliver in gold, and then oh, that is—it's just so pretty how these silver ones have that A B shimmer to it. And then we have this gold. Um, it's not a half pearl; it's actually faceted. It's kind of a shape that it's more dome shaped. I've not seen that before. Let's see if I can show you as best I can. There we go. And we've got this beautiful blue half pearl and a red one. And look at that. Teal, turquoise, turquoise. It's more. Wow, that is a pretty, pretty teardrop. And then we've got an AB blue color. Oh, wow, that is gorgeous. Those are um, AB coated half pearls. They're not actually 
um, facets. That they have no facets on them. And then here we have the crystal color. And then we have a red. These are also the half pearls, so they're not faceted at all. And this one here, it looks like it might have facets on it. Yeah. But it's got that dome shape as well to it. So those are some really, really pretty ones. I uh, wouldn't expect that on something. This looks really wild. I mean, it has a lot of colors going on. But I think it'll look nice with the colors that they have chosen here. Eight, yeah, this beautiful blue is what goes all the way around and separates the sections. So that's going to look really neat. I just kind of wish that it was more than just the center. I think it would have been much better had it been the entire um, pouch. So I'm just going to put these inside the pouch and reuse the bag or something else. All right, now we have one more item and then we can get to the diamond paintings. Okay, I'm not sure what it is, because this is what it looks like. It looks like a puzzle. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. So, here we go. Christmas reindeer. Oh, it's a wood, one of those wood puzzles that you put the thing together, like, what I got in my very first one, the Ferris wheel, which I still have not done. I might do this so I could, I can put it with, we have a little scene we put up at Christmas time and we could actually put this in with it. If it doesn't take too long to do, if it's fairly simple, it doesn't look like it's going to be too hard hardest parts probably gonna be opening it I've not done one before like I said so not sure what this entails how many pieces are there okay so it gives detailed instructions it looks like there are quite a few pieces well this is the full extent of putting it together and then this is for the antlers May, may not be too hard. Probably a lot of the time is going to be punching these things out. Well, they're not that difficult, so I might work on that. And it's got some sandpaper to smooth down some of those edges that might be rough. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, something this small I can see doing. And I'm actually going to get Tesla and she gets home early from school tomorrow and I'm going to get her to help me with it. So maybe we'll make a video putting it together. She loves making videos. This video is going to be really long because there was quite a bit of stuff in here. I'm just trying to get this back in. There we go. All right. You know what? I'm going to put this in that pouch because <laughs> there is not really anything to keep it um together that's what it looks like uh oh i can even shut it well maybe not and then i'll stick the sandpaper in there and the instructions but yeah this does not look too hard assemble using the layout of 3d instructions and that's all it says so should be easy ages 14 and up 29 pieces all right now, should we look at those diamond paintings, if they're going to be my interest or not, and determine if I'm going to keep doing this? All right. I um, probably should put some some of this stuff. We are back so I can clean off my table. All right. Um, here is what comes in these kits. They all had the same thing. I put the other two away. But each kit comes with your drill placer with a thin four placer on the one end and a single placer metal on the other end with a squishy. You get, you also get a 10 placer 
and you get a nice big amount of wax and this is a color that I haven't quite seen before it's a little more pinkish than the other stuff and it, it is quite see-through well it's a little see-through and you get a white tray and you get a pair of metal tweezers not sure why because these are round and these don't work too well on round drills okay so three of those because I have the $64.99 kit which is the medium sized one there is one smaller and one larger and they come with different amounts of diamond paintings I believe all right so my two categories were fairies and dragons and abstract I while in between these two clips I went and changed it to be just fairies and dragons so December's box should have all fairies and dragons all right I'm opening this one this one's a 30 by 40 it's really hard to see what the image is but um, I didn't think I was gonna need scissors I'm gonna have to use my knife to cut this tape that they put over to keep it shut carefully all right I'll take the tweezers off. Now, like I was saying, it is kind of hard to tell what this image is. I will try to pull it up from their website and post it right here. But this is how it looks on the canvas. I can't tell if that's a little girl, but that's definitely a dragon. And I'm happy as long as it comes out nicely. It did come on a foam roller as well. The... <laughs> The inventory sheet, again, was not the ink. It's crap. <laughs> That's all I can say. There's the image, which is even worse than the thumbnail. Um, and those symbols are impossible to read. Now, I did look at one of the other ones, and it's perfect, and then the other one's bad. So one out of the three look good. Let's go ahead and look at this. It has 35 colors. Ah, it's 30 by 40 with 35 colors. All right. I'm still trying to find the best way to open these without uh, having problems. This is in actually three sections. That's a lot of sections for something this size. I, I, I hate the sections. If you've seen me open before these things, I have a hard time getting them back into place. So let's look and see how it looks. I don't want to pull back all three sections because I'm afraid I won't be able to get it back down. But let's see the drill filled. Uh, some of those symbols are really weird looking. The color is pretty light. I'm not sure if that's just the section of this diamond painting, but um, yeah, they're, they can be red, but they're just really weird symbols to the point where, you know, I can't really tell between, like the T, you can see the T and then there's an I. The top of the T is, can be mistaken for a symbol that just has an I. So that's one thing that they could have done differently is removed one of those symbols so that they weren't it wasn't mistaken for one of the others so the t is 728 and then the i is 307 the i has like a greenish yellow background and the t is kind of a brownish yellow so they're they're somewhat similar in color too so i'm gonna just replace this so that I can hopefully flatten it without causing problems but the the drill field looks good the, the glue does not have any bubbles or stretch marks well it has a little bit of stretch marks but those are okay but there are no bubbles or puckers so far you can see how shiny that surface is but there's, okay, there's a good amount of color blocking right in here. I'm hoping we're going to be able to see what this image looks like just by me doing 
the small sections at a time like this. The, the three sections, they did not overlap each other, so that's good. No bubble causing there. Again, this is another really great looking section. No bubbles at all. It's perfectly smooth. Okay, so let me flip it over. See, I overlapped them when I laid them back down, but no adhe none of this, the adhesive is showing, so that should be good. I'll probably go back and replace all of these with the sections with parchment paper before I start working on them. Just because I hate working with the, them so much when they're in sections like this. All right, let's get this one pulled back. I'm hoping we can actually get a kind of a peek at what this really is, what this is. I mean, it's a dragon and there's the dragon's head. We know that. Okay. And see, I didn't get it down all the way. Ugh. Okay, that's good. And this one right here should be telling of what we have here. But it's only a 30 by 40, so any kind of detail is basically lost in something this small. And I still don't know what that is. Maybe if I'm able to find the image, I'll be able to figure it out. I can't, I just don't know what that is. Maybe it's a fairy? <laughs> but that whatever this is right here is what it is that I'm trying to figure out <laughs> and we've almost got it completely flat so if it was in one piece I could have just pulled the whole thing back and we could get a good gander at it but there's the dragon's head and all in all, this looks good. It just may not have the detail that is really needed for an image with this much detail. So uh, let me grab the right bag of drills. Let's see, 3210, that's this one here. So each one of their colors comes in a separate bag. They're labeled nicely with the amount and the DMC number and the number that corresponds on the key. I'm not going to go through and check it for inventory. I will do that later. But there's this bag of pink. It looks like there's just like five drills in there. Oh, that's just because the rest is down here. All right. So here's, this is the bag of drills for this one. Let's go ahead and pull the other two. The other two are both abstract. So that's why I went in and changed it so that both of my selections are fairies and dragons because I don't really have a second choice. I want just fairies and dragons and it seems like I only get one in that category and then the other two, they give me the secondary choice. So let me set this aside and I'll pull up the smaller of the two. This is the one that actually has a nice inventory sheet. This one's a 35 by 35. The image, I'm, it looks similar to something I've, I've got from another company, but if I'm able to find the image, I'll put it up right here. It is pretty. It is pretty, I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's okay. They did good. I mean, I did choose abstract and I was hoping that I could get something that I would like. I mean, they, it would have been nice had they told me I didn't have to choose two different categories. This has 35 colors as well. 35 seems to be the number that they like to use. Uh, foam roller. But here is the image on the paper, and you can see how clear the symbols are on this one. Much 
better. I mean, this, I wish they would all look like this because I can't read the others. And the thumbnail looks really good too. Uh, again, it's in three sections. Grr. Grr. Let's open it up. Check it out. Okay. Just kind of take the edge that's still curled up the end that's curled up and tuck it under the bottom of the table, the edge of the table. And this actually has four sections. Oh, oh. the fourth one is really small. Right there. But it looks good. The glue looks really good. No bubbles. Um, I'll show you the clarity of symbols on the next strip that I pulled back. So I want to make sure I get this placed back down because so I pulled it back quite a ways and I knew I'd have this problem. <laughs> okay. And there. There we go. All right, next. These ones in the center are kind of hard to grab onto. All right. That actually looks pretty good. Here's the clarity. Yeah, this does look better than the first one. Maybe it was their symbol choice, but I think it looks really good. I am actually happy with this one so far. But I definitely would be using light pads on these just so I can have a better view of the symbols to make sure I'm getting the right one because they do have you know, they do look alike in some aspects of it. All right, that one's down. Pull this one back. Again, it's in the middle, hard to grasp. It's overlapped because of how I put it back down. But again, very clear, great glue, no bubbles. Can't do it. I just can't seem to do it. There. there we go. All right, one more, and then we can open up the other side and it'll be perfectly flat. Oh, look at those beautiful colors. That is one thing I do like about abstract is they tend to be very colorful. I got bubbles under the cover. Okay, so nice and pretty. Good, there's some good areas of color blocking. Not too much, not too little. All right, and we'll just open up the second side. And look at that, that is so pretty. I did show you, yeah, I did show you the clarity. But those, I like those blue colors. They just look really good. And there's the yellows, yellows and oranges. What do we got on the next one? And there's the tree trunk. And I, I'm kind of surprised this is smaller. There's, I'm supposed to get one small, um, no, oh, okay, that's it. I get two smalls and one large. So this is considered one of the smalls. It's smaller than the 30, 30 by 40, but it's, oh, that's okay. I mean, I'm okay with that. And our final section. This is really pretty. I just hope I can find an image of it so you guys can see the full full view of what it looks like. Okay, CTR3196, that's this one here. So yeah, look at those colors. 
there is a lot of different colors in there. I like that. I like the colorfulness of it. And there's that, there's that teal color in there. It looks like that's part of the background that we are, I was looking at up in the corner. Yeah, it's a lot of the background color. So this one will be really pretty to do. And now we just have one more, and that's the large one. It's a 40 by 50. And it too, like I said, is abstract. If I have, like I said, if I could find the image, I will post it right here. These are all shrink wrapped, if you didn't notice before. Shrink wrapped and then taped. Which I don't much like the tape because it does leave icky residue, sticky icky residue over the uh, part where it's sticking. Foam roller, come on out. There we go. And 45 colors on this one. So this is, this is kind of a weird one, but it's interesting. Four sections uh -huh, to open. And it's a 40 by 50. So can my good luck stay? Let's look at it. Oh, this looks like a lot of confetti. Oh, yeah. Boy, that's a lot of confetti. Here's the drill fill. But the glue looks good. Um, I'm, I'll am i probably be cross-eyed trying to do this section here. Oi. Wow. But... Again, they have the T and the I, and this time the color of the background is the same. T, I, and J right next to each other. Oi. Uh, okay, let me put this back down, and then we'll look at the rest. Uh, the image is, I don't really know. It kind of looks like it might be, well, it is abstract. That's for sure. It looks like some kind of a 3D flower inverting on itself. Not sure. Still no bubbles. Good. And they have not overlapped the sections in any of these that I've unboxed. So that is very good. They have good people that are doing the packing or whatnot or laying the adhesive all right and there's another one of those sections glue looks good I wish they would have made the large one the dragon because it needs to have I think it needs to have more detail Something like this, I don't think needs to have as much detail in it. Just lots of different colors. Um, let's see. I'm kind of surprised it has 45 colors. You know, I wouldn't think something like this needs that many colors. But look at those. Look at all those different colors in just one section. That is a confetti nightmare to me. And we're almost done. I know I left a little bit of a gap there, but that's okay. And then we'll get this other side. I'm really pleased that there have not been any bubbles in since the horse one that I got was really bad 
they did replace it with uh, an image of my choice. I have not opened it yet to show you guys, but it did come. I will probably do that in a separate video considering this one is so, so long already. But there was so much, there was a lot to show in this one. I, I actually am, I am pretty pleased with this box. So that's why I went in and I just changed my categories um, for my next box because I'll go ahead and get another one. But, you know, I follow them on Instagram and they are always showing these cool images. And it's like, why can't I get those in, in my box? They're dragons and fairies and stuff. So why am I not able to get those? I do believe, if I remember correctly, when I was talking to a representative when I had the issue with the horse, um, that they are going to be adding more categories. But when I went in there just now to change it, it didn't seem to me like there were any new ones. So hopefully they can get more. Because I would like, you know, a variety. Because dragons and fairies are just a small portion of the whole mythical category you know like wizards and and um just magical stuff butterfly you know i don't know there's there's there is a lot to the fantasy world and that's what it was fantasy and just saying dragons and fairies i mean do they mean that there's going to be all sorts of stuff from the world of magic or just dragons and fairies. But I did finally get a, 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 a nice dragon one. I got a nice one from the categories dragons and fairies. And I, I just hope that, you know, they can improve the quality of their printer for the inventory pages because it's, this is really, this is really hard to read. I mean, here's this one. And, you know, I can, I can request that they send me a digital copy and they will. I just don't know how long it'll take them to do it, which would be great because I, I could just print it off directly from my email. But these two, you can't read and this one is perfect. So I don't understand why they can't do this every time. I mean, comparison, would you rather have that or would you rather have this? And even the image is obscured to where you can't tell what it is and that one you can see quite nicely so please if anybody from easy whim is watching that those are the things that i would really appreciate is if we could get more categories to choose from and if we could just simply get better printouts this this is perfect these are not and most of my printouts have turned out like this so that is my final thought. I will be, I will continue to subscribe as long as I continue to get things that I'm happy with. And I, I, like I said, I was extremely happy with this Christmas box. This is the November box. And I did look and it said that, what was it? Oh, the, so, something, I think it was the, the ornaments. Those were exclusive to the membership boxes so you can't just buy them separately so let me know what you guys think of this particular month of easy win products and if you're interested i mean i don't get any kind of kickback or anything for showing this to you i'm showing you just because this is what i have purchased so that if it's something you're interested in this will give you an idea of what kind of the things you will get I did start my box. This is my third or fourth. I think it's my third or fourth. Yeah, it's third or fourth. It's months have been going by really fast. So you might want to um, go back through and check my other unboxings from them. I will try to remember to put a link right up here of the other videos that I have unboxed of this monthly subscription. So if you want to do this. I will put a link down below for those interested in subscribing to it. 
and let me know. Let me know. Have you subscribed? Are you happy with it? Did you subscribe and then cancel because you weren't happy? Would you consider resubscribing re if they changed things about it? Yeah, let me know. I'm just curious to find out what you think. So yeah, leave those comments down below in the comment de this department. Yes. And on the way down, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And you will, if you hit that bell, you can be notified when I post new videos like this and when I go live. Until the next one, I will see you soon. Have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.